Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 32 to the power of x is equal to 4. And make sure to stay to the end of the video where I have a bonus problem similar to this, which you guys can try to solve. So 32, this is actually equal to 2 to the power of 5. So now I can rewrite 32 to the power of x by substituting in 2 to the power of 5 for 32. So now I have 2 to the power of 5 to the power of x is equal to, now 4, this is equal to 2 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, for 2 to the power of 5 to the power of x, a would equal 2, m would equal 5, and n would equal x. So if I put it in the form a to the power of m times n, I get 2 to the power of 5 times x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5x. So now I have 2 to the power of 5x is equal to 2 squared. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So for 2 to the power of 5x is a 2 squared, these two exponents would be equal to each other. So I have 5x is equal to 2. Now we want to isolate x, so I'll divide both sides by 5. These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 2 over 5. Now, we can go ahead and plug this into our original equation, 32 to the power of x equals 4, and see if it's right. So if I plug in x as 2 over 5, I get 32 to the power of 2 over 5 is equal to 4. Now, 32 to the power of 2 over 5, this is the same thing as 32 to the power of 1 over 5 squared. Now, 32 to the power of 1 over 5, this is the same thing as the fifth root of 32 squared. And the fifth root of 32 is simply 2. So I have 2 squared. 2 squared is equal to 4. So I have 4 is equal to 4. Because this is true, we know our solution is true. Now, another simpler way of doing this to solve this problem is to take the log on both sides. So I have log 32 to the power of x is equal to log 4. And an important property of logarithms is that if, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to, I can actually move this exponent to the front of the logarithm, so this is equal to log b times log a. So now I'm going to do this with log 32 to the power of x. I'm going to move my exponent x to the front, so this is going to equal x times log 32. So now I have x times log 32 is equal to log 4. Now I can divide both sides by log 32. So now I get x is equal to log 4 over log 32. Now 4 here, this is the same thing as 2 squared. And 32, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And now remember, if we have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So for both of these, I'm going to move the exponent to the front of the logarithm. So now I have x is equal to 2 times log 2 over 5 times log 2. Now these two log 2's can simply cancel out, so I end up with x is equal to 2 over 5. So as you can see, we have the same answer, but we use two different methods. So we want to find the value of m for this. So 6 to the power of m is equal to 60. Now 60, this is equal to 6 times 10 right? So now I have 6 to the power of m is equal to, if I substitute in 6 times 10 for 60, 6 times 10. 
Now I'm going to be dividing 6 on both sides. So I have 6 to the power of n over 6 is equal to, these two cancel out, so simply just 10. Now 6, or, or any number, is the same thing as that number to the power of 1. So 6 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 1. So I have 6 to the power of m over 6 to the power of 1 is equal to 10. Now our important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, for 6 to the power of m over 6 to the power of 1, we can think of a as 6, m as just simply just m, and n as 1. So now I have, if I put this in the form a to the power of m minus n, 6 to the power of m minus 1 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to be taking the log on both sides. So I have log 6 to the power of m minus 1 is equal to log 10. Now an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would be equal to b times log a. Now for log 6 to the power of m minus 1, I'm going to be using this property by moving m minus 1 to the front of the logarithm. So now I have m minus 1 times log 6 is equal to log 10. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by log 6. So then these two cancel out. And I have m minus 1 is equal to log 10 over log 6. So now I can add 1 on both sides. So I have m is equal to log 10 over log 6 plus 1. Log 10 over log 6. Well, log 10 is the same as log base 10 of 10. And this is essentially asking 10 to the power of x is equal to 10. And the only thing, the only value of x has to be 1 because any number to the power of 1 is itself. So meaning log 10 is equal to 1. So I have 1 over log 6 plus 1. Now the, val the value of log 6 is approximately 0 0.7782. So now I have 1 over 0 0.7782 plus 1. 1 over 0 0.7782 is approximately 1.2850. So I have that plus 1, meaning m is equal to 2.2850. Now we aren't done yet. So we are going to actually check to see if the solution is right. So I have 6 to the power of m is equal to 60. m is equal to 2.2850. So now if I plug in m, I get 6 to the power of 2.2850 is equal to 60. And 6 to the power of 2.2850 is approximately 59.9895 which rounds up to 60. So I have 60 is equal to 60. Because this is right, our solution is right as well.